Hi friends, it's your favorite mermaid here. Today, I'm gonna be talking about Carmine. I use a lot of vegan palettes. That's because of Carmine. I am not actually a vegan. Carmine is an ingredient often used in makeup to give those shades a nice, rich pigment. Well, this is what happens when uh, I put Carmine in or around my immediate eye area. I get pink eye. Basically allergic conjunctivitis. I'm allergic to it, but just my eyeballs, not my skin. My skin doesn't actually react to it. When I swipe it on my hand, I don't get any pain. There's no signs of an allergy. An allergic reaction can be described in the acronym RIDS. Rash or redness, itchiness, dyspnea, or shortness of breath, and swelling. That's how you know if it's an allergy or not. The cochineal insect um, resides primarily in South America and is a parasite to cacti. Basically, it eats cactus. Why even use carmine if you can pretty much get a really rich color payoff without it? It took me a while to actually figure out what was going on. I was sad to learn that I couldn't buy certain palettes. Yeah, it saved me money, but I had a serious case of FOMO. Basically, I felt left out, I felt sad, and I also felt like, what's wrong with me? Is it, is it me? <laughs> Who knows what's going on? Apparently they use that ingredient in food sometimes to give it that nice red, bright red color. Um, and there have been a lot of people with allergic reactions, only it's a food allergy, so it's a lot more dangerous than what's going on with me, okay? The, the conversation around Carmine has been gaining popularity. There's more palettes coming out without the Carmine ingredient. At the same time, there's also palettes coming out from certain companies that has more Carmine. I mean, it's like in every single shade. And it's not even an all red palette. I can look at the ingredients list or I could avoid reds altogether. Yeah. Back in 2018, I think it was, I learned that the hard way. I bought the ABH Sultry palette. Oh my God. That palette was so beautiful. Unfortunately, some of like the rose goldy, like shimmery colors, and they completely destroyed my eyeballs. I can't sleep for three days. When I get that allergic reaction from Carmine, I don't get sleep. I can barely see because my eyes are just so gooey. It hurts. It's pink eye. That is why it is so important for me to use vegan makeup palettes. So my FOMO situation has gotten a lot better because there's a lot of really cool brands that are vegan. I should consider myself lucky because there are people who are allergic to just makeup in general, period, end of story, that's it. No makeup, nothing on your face, okay? I'm lucky. I just hope it never happens again because there, I cannot tell you how many times I've bought a palette thinking it was safe, putting it on my eyes and regretting it immensely. My conjunctiva do not like Carmine. <laughs> period, okay? Period. <laughs> Carmine is in a lot of lip products so if you have the same problem that I do, be careful. Do not put lip products on your eyes, especially if they're red. Just don't do it, okay? I'm making this video not to really complain. If you have an allergy to Carmine, I hope this helps you. Um, what helps me is just sticking to all vegan brands. If that brand claims to be 100% vegan, you are safe. If that brand says cruelty-free only, no girl, run, don't walk. Yes, you can order from certain companies. Tarte has vegan palettes. They are not a completely vegan company. They may be cruelty free, I don't know. But I know that there's some palettes that are vegan. What I'm wearing on my eyes, completely safe, 100% vegan. However, here is the catch. Here is the catch. Vegan makeup palettes, essentially, are pressed pigments. They don't use, they don't use the beetles, okay? They don't use carmine. However, uh, it's like a red, red dye that they use. 
in the United States, the FDA has required makeup companies to disclose whether their palette is pressed pigments or eyeshadow. If you call it an eyeshadow, it cannot have pressed pigments in it. You can call it a pigment palette. You cannot call it an eyeshadow palette. You may remember this from the James Charles Morphe Artistry collection. I never did get that because it wasn't vegan, <laughs> but it did have some pressed pigments in the palette. There's a video, a viral video of this girl freaking out because her eyelids were stained and, and then she started getting blisters. No, you're lying. No, unless you're terribly allergic, terribly allergic to pigments, which maybe you are. Who knows? There's like an allergy for everything. But to, to angrily tell James Charles that he did that to you and to all his customers and that his makeup is dangerous. No. Do your research before you put out a video that might potentially harm a person or a company, okay? That may be innocent in that respect. I don't really have a problem with a red stain on my eyes. So just keep that in mind. You know, I don't really want this video to be like spilling any tea or anything like that. This is what I learned about makeup, vegan and non-vegan makeup. That concludes this video, finally. So I'm so glad I got to make it. I've been wanting to make this video ever since my eyeballs exploded. So hopefully this helps somebody. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it was educational and helpful. Um, stay tuned for more interesting videos where I talk about things. Be sure to share this video so that it gets around the internet so it can help some other people who might have a similar issue that I have. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you know anything else about Carmine or vegan palettes or veganism. Anything. Leave a comment. And also do not forget to ring the bell because that way you get notified every time I upload. Subscribe, obviously. If you're not subscribed, <sighs> friends, your favorite mermaid is about to set sail. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think of an intro and outro. Help me. Comment down below. Okay, bye. Do you ever wonder what you're putting on your face? Do you ever wonder what's really in your makeup? Do you go to bed at night worried that you're secretly eating bugs all night long? Well, if you wear red lipstick to bed, you just might be. <laughs> if you're a cactus and you've ever had a parasite <laughs> And <laughs> hi, I'm Tony. <laughs> I specialize in researching and tracking down every single source of carmine in the products that we use every day. Why? Because I too am a victim. Watch as this next cactus bravely shares their story. Oh God, they were everywhere. They were just wouldn't stop crawling on me. And they wouldn't stop laughing. Those little old bugs were crawling all over me. There were so many of them. They were so tiny. They were everywhere. They got everywhere. It was a parasite. I was their host. <laughs> I'm so sorry that happened to you. If you or anyone you know is a cactus, and has had an infection of cochineal insects, you may qualify for compensation. There, there, it's okay. Alas, poor York, I did know they want. This is actually not a cactus. I just thought it was really cute. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.